open, uh, normally we would hold cookies, so I've got uh, it about a half full of uh, Jet A1 fuel. Now what you're going to see in a moment is I'm, when I introduce an open flame into the surface of the fuel, and you'll see what happens. The temperature is approximately 60 degrees, it's a little bit windy, we'll see how this works. So if you notice when I put the match into the surface of the fuel, it promptly went out. We'll do it again for those that may not have seen it the first time, and I'll use a larger match. And now I have two matches together, a larger flame. I let it go so it gets good and hot, and we'll introduce it into the surface of the fuel. What the Aviation Fuels Handbook says is that that same phenomena, putting out an open flame, will occur all the way up to 127 degrees Fahrenheit with Jet A1 fuel. And this is what the NTSB doesn't want you to know. We're going to pause here and I'll set up the second experiment. Okay, now we're back on camera again. What you see on my trusty uh, test barbecue is a common household spray bottle uh, and a Christmas candle with which I'll light shortly. The spray bottle I filled with the Jet A1 fuel. Now what this is intended to demonstrate is what happened to Flight 800, what happened to the fuel in that tank. Up until the point that something very violent happened to the aircraft, the fuel that was in the tank really was just as just like the fuel you saw in the first experiment. It was stable. Uh, even an introduction of open flame in the tank would not have caused not only uh, would not have caused an explosion, but it would not have even burned. And that's a critical point again that the NTSB is fighting tooth and nail to keep the Congress and the American people from understanding. Now, what I'm going to do here, it's windy, I'm going to try and light this candle. Then I'm going to use the spray bottle to show you what happens if something violent happened to the tank and that fuel that was in the bottom of the tank was suddenly misted into the atmosphere by kinetic energy. Okay, we now have an open flame. Now I'm going to attempt to demonstrate what happens when misted Jet A1 fuel is comes into contact with open flame. That one more time. Okay, once again, we have an open flame, and now something violent happens to the tank on TWA flight 800, and this is what happens.